My brother challenged me to a build competition. Now we are going head to head to see who can build the longest mob tower in Minecraft. Little does he know, I have a super secret prize for him waiting at the end. Chip, what mob are you building? I'm going to be building a warden house. That's why I'm using skulk blocks. Every single level inside my warden house will have a different theme. I'm so excited. My warden house is going to be the tallest ever. What house are you building, Milo? I'm pretty much building a zombie house and it's gonna be super epic. Each floor is gonna have something really crazy. Okay, I guess we'll see who makes the better house. I think I'm gonna win, Milo. No. My first level is going to have an overworld theme. It needs to be pretty skinny, so I don't have much space to build it inside. If I made it too thick, I wouldn't be able to make the tower long before we run out of time. I'm always running out of time. Remember when I tried to bake those cookies, Milo, and I burnt them in the oven? Yeah, that was really gross, and there was smoke everywhere in the house. Yeah, it totally set off the fire alarms, and you got soaking wet. You looked so silly with all your feathers dripping. Yeah, and then you took a It's a good photo. It got 100,000 likes on Instagram. What the? I didn't know you posted it on Instagram. Well, I'm also going to post my victory celebration online after I win this thing. Yeah, I'm basically going to celebrate all day and all night. Very funny, Chip. Everyone's going to be making fun of you because you lose. What? No, they definitely won't. All I have to do is make this surrounding wall out of skulk to make it look like a warden, and then I can get started on the overworld theme of my first level. Overworld theme? What's this gonna be like? A flop tower? A flop tower? What? No, Milo, this is going to be a tree line. I need to grab oak logs just like this and oak leaves as well. Let's get regular oak and not dark oak because this needs to be bright on the inside. Let's place logs all the way around the edge. This needs to look just like a real Minecraft forest. And not to mention, once I place all these logs, I get to make log parkour where you can go all the way from the bottom level right to the rest of my tower. Aw, Chip, I have a question. What's your question, Milo? Have you ever been to the Leaning Tower of Pizza? Um, did you just say Leaning Tower of Pizza, Milo? Yeah, it's like a Chuck E. Cheese Pizza Leaning Tower. Um, Milo, that's called the Leaning Tower of Pizza. It's in Italy, and it is made out of rocks, not pepperoni. What the? Oh, no. I'm never going to see it then. I just wanted some pizza. Well, maybe if you actually win this thing, then you can throw a pizza party. But I don't know if you will. If you want to win, you're going to have to go through my super long tower, which I'm not sure you can do. I'm going to make this pretty difficult, especially the overworld parkour zone. That's no problem. I'm actually really good at going up towers, and I've learned a lot in the last two weeks. Um, Milo, only yesterday you fell off a tower we were building together. You went totally kasplat. I had to save you by placing a water bucket underneath you while you were falling. What? I didn't fall. I was just trying to fly and it didn't really work out very well. No, it totally didn't. But what is working out very well is this overworld themed room I am building right now. I'm going to make trees all around the edges. It looks just like a real forest. Whoa, I think the more trees I add here, the more real it will look. The trees also need to go up in a very specific shape. That way it's possible to jump up them just like a real parkour. Whoa, I'm already doing such a cool job. I think we need to use different kinds of trees though. Maybe azalea leaves and azalea bushes can dot the bottom of this forest. This way there's a starting zone for the parkour, just like this. Oh, that looks so cool. And let's also add some flowering azalea leaves right over here. Wow, it already looks just like an overworld forest. I'm gonna continue building building it though. I want to add different trees to make it even taller, but what kind of trees could I even add? I've already used oak trees and I've already used azalea bushes, but oh, I totally know. Let's use spruce leaves. I'll also need to grab some bone meal so that I can totally grow these spruce saplings into big trees. Whoa, look how tall it is. I think it might be a little too tall though. I need something else. And I know exactly what that can be. Vines. I need to place these oak logs even higher than I thought I did already. Whoa, this level is going way better than I thought it would. Milo, I am off to a really good start. You better be working really, really hard to make sure you have a chance of beating me. Yeah, I am working really hard, and I'm thinking really hard as well. What? Milo, I haven't seen you think this hard since you lost that spelling bee. Well, I'm not very good at 
good spelling, but I'm really good at building. I know. When they told you to spell the letter A, you completely froze up. And I was trying to yell at you that it's just one letter, but you were not listening. You started reciting the whole alphabet and you got disqualified forever. I hope they let you back someday. Yeah, me too, because I really want to win something one day. Like how I'm going to win this build battle. Oh, yeah, maybe you will, but I don't think so, Milo. I'm going to try as hard as I can, and my warden tower is already way taller than your zombie tower. Have you even built anything on the inside yet? Yeah, I'm just starting right now. It's going to be a really cool swampy situation, and you're going to get really confused. A swampy situation? Wait, Milo, are you building a swamp inside your zombie tower? Yeah, it's a genius idea, right? I guess it kind of is. I'm building a forest, and... And if you're building a swamp, we're basically building different biomes. I really hope you don't copy me for the rest of this tower, though. If you do, that could be bad, because my designs are going to be so difficult. I do not want yours to be difficult as well. Hey, look what I just did. I got a mangrove tree. Whoa, that mangrove tree is so tall. That actually gives me a pretty good idea. I'm going to spawn a jungle tree inside my tall tower. Boom, wait. That jungle tree is not tall enough. I need to quickly break these leaves and add a couple more blocks of height to it. I also need to extend the log a little bit more upwards. This way, it actually can be jumped to. That could have been a close one. That was really embarrassing. I'm so glad you didn't see that, Milo. Well, if I did see it, I would have made fun of you. Hey, I guess you're right. I know you totally would have made fun of me, but luckily you couldn't. Instead, you just have to do this once I finish making this tree. Oh yeah, this looks so awesome. Now I can get started on the next level, which is going to be a bit cooler than this overworld tree section. I just need to make the roof. I think I'm going to make the roof out of leaves just like this. That way it totally feels like you're underneath a giant dark forest whenever you're inside my tower. It really does feel like the overworld. I think I've done a great job with the theming of that. I just need to make sure I do a great job with the theming of the warden. I also need to remember that when I place these leaves, I cannot make it impossible to get up. I need to have at least one section where it is possible to jump right on through onto the next level. Let's place oak logs all around the edge of my tower, just like this. Once we do this, we need to add skulk on the side, but it's not going to be just regular skulk. The warden has powerful bones, and we need to make sure we add them to the outside of the tower as well. If we do not add the bones, then this won't be a warden tower. It will just be a stinky skulk tower, and the only stinky tower is your zombie one, Milo. <laughs> I know you are, Milo. That's why I'm understanding that it's a bit stinky. You built a zombie tower and made a swamp inside. I think it being stinky is kind of the best case situation here. What the? Chip, stop roasting me like that. I'm really building something good. You're going to eat your words when you see it. Oh, yeah? Well, my words are going to taste like a pizza party when I win. I'm also going to grab some bone blocks. Now I can start making the warden's scaly, bony feet. Ugh, they're so creepy. I'm so glad that there's no real wardens in this tower right now. They might have to come on a later level. For now, the only mobs inside my tower is going to be me and a little blue birdie named Milo. At least until you totally lose at my tower, Milo. Then it'll just be me inside having my awesome pizza party, which I guess I can invite you to. No, I've got your tower all figured out. There's nothing you could do to trick me. Milo thinks he can beat my tower without even thinking about it, but I actually do have a way to trick him. I'm going to add a surprise at the very end of my tower that Milo will not know about. It is going to be a big secret, and I know that he is going to scream when he finds out what it is. He's going to be so mad at me, but I'm not going to say what it is. I do not want Milo finding out about it yet. If Milo knows what I am about to put at the end of this tower, Tower, he might try to destroy it, which I really don't want. All right, look at the warden's feet and now done. I can now get started on the next level of my tower and I am going to be doing a stone level just like this. It's going to look like an awesome cave. Hey, Milo, are you using world edit powers on your tower? No, I don't know anything about world edit. Hey, you don't have to lie to me, Milo. Ugh, you know what? If you're going to be doing that to win this competition, maybe I'll be doing cheeky things as well. What? No, you can't use world edit as well. I won't, but I will be doing very cheeky things. I'd be keeping an eye out if I were you, Milo. Oh yeah, I'm keeping an eye out. I'm keeping two eyes out, actually. Oh, Milo, that's just a saying. I do not want you actually keeping your eyes out. You need to remember to blink. Oh, okay. I will promise I will 
Blink a little bit more. Thanks, Milo. Hopefully now we should get less complaining letters from our neighbors that you stare at them all day. Well, it's not my fault if they have a cute puppy. Yeah, I think we all love puppies, but Milo, you can be kind of creepy. You always chase them around with bird seeds, trying to feed it to them. I don't think anybody's ever told you that puppies love to eat bones, not bird seeds. Actually, Chip, one time I met a dog who does like to eat bird seeds, and his name was Patrick. What? Milo, is Patrick still alive? That sounds really dangerous for a dog. Dogs can get sick if they don't eat things that are bones or meat. He is definitely alive, and I saw him yesterday. Maybe you can see him again today when you go home after you totally lose this thing. My warden tower is going to be pretty difficult, Milo. I know I should have made it a little bit easier, but so far it is very challenging, and this cave level is going to be even harder. I am building a giant maze through the cave. A giant maze? Chip, you know I hate mazes. That's really unfair. Yeah, sorry about that, Milo. That's part of why I'm doing it. If I build a giant maze, then it will be even harder for you to make it up my tower. That gives me more time to make it up yours, and it gives me more time to totally win. Well, now I'm really grumpy. Sorry, Milo. I did not mean to make you grumpy. Tell you what, Milo, if I win, when I throw my big pizza party, I'll add a pizza with just bird seeds on it. Really? Oh my gosh, Chip, that is so awesome. Yeah, but that's only if I win, so I better make sure I make my warden tower really, really awesome. Otherwise, I will not win this thing. Okay, this cave level's looking pretty good, but I need to make a way to actually go up to it. Right now, you cannot get there. The only way is to climb up here, so I need to actually make a doorway. Perfect, this looks awesome. Let's add a jungle leaf block here, and now there is a way up. But I better actually get started on making the maze. If I don't make this quickly, then it'll totally be a waste of time. Time. Let's start making the layout. I think there can only be one way to go up the maze, and we better make sure it's as difficult to get to as possible. I think this is a pretty cool design. Whoa, it's already so confusing. And once I make the rest of this maze, it's just gonna get even more difficult. Okay, I'm really, really liking this so far. I think we just need to add a couple more rooms to it, and then we'll be ready. Wow, this is already so confusing. Let's actually add some decorations in the maze. This is a cave after all. I want to add diamond blocks throughout this maze. Don't tell Milo, but maybe the diamond ores will be so distracting that he totally doesn't even remember that he has to beat the maze. That would be the best thing to happen ever. But I can't be too loud about it. If Milo knows I'm trying to distract him, he will not be distracted. I also need to make sure he does not hear when I talk about the final secret prize at the very end. He's going to be so shocked about it. I can't wait to see his reaction. All right, these diamond blocks look awesome. Now let's add a couple more stone blocks so that the maze is complete. I want to leave a big area filled with air so that I can see Milo trying to go up this tower. The easier it is for me to see him, the more it means that I'll be able to watch him fail going up it, giving us an even higher chance at winning. I also think I definitely need to be adding some dripstones. I'll put them on the ceiling just like this. Now it looks totally like a real cave. I just have to make sure I put so many that it's difficult to find your way around here. If you can use the drip stones as a guide, then that would be terrible. It would mean that the maze becomes way easy to make it through. I would never let that happen. I also need to have a ladder that goes up to the next level of my super tall warden tower, but the ladder will be hidden behind a bunch of drip stones. Oh yeah, this is going to be awesome. I can't wait to see you go through this, Milo. Yeah, I can't wait to see me go through it as well, because I'm going to absolutely nail it. Really? You're excited to go through my tower? Milo, I don't know if I would be confident if I was you. I'd be pretty worried this tower already looks awesome and it's only gonna get better. I'm really excited. Like 10 out of 10 really excited. Aw, that's actually really nice to hear. I'm happy you're excited. I just hope the excitement doesn't fade away when you lose this thing. I'm gonna put the ladder up to my third floor all the way over here. Perfect. Let's actually grab the ladder. I have to make sure I place this in a really sneaky way that can't be seen, but wait a minute. I have an even better idea. I'm going to place vines. This way, it blends in with how a natural cave would look. I'm also going to add some more vines randomly on the walls. I just hope they don't grow too quickly. If these vines grow too far 
fast and I don't finish this build quick enough, then it'll be way easier to skip through the maze. That would be terrible. And Milo, if you were able to skip through this maze, you would beat my tower a lot quicker. So I cannot let that happen. That means I have to hurry and uh oh, I'm getting lost in my own maze. I have to finish this quick if I want to get started on my third story before these vines grow. Wait, if you're getting lost in your maze, that is not looking good for me. True, that is a good sign. It means my maze is awesome, but it's not going to be as awesome as my nether zone. I'm going to build a fake obsidian nether portal that it will transport you through to look like you have just made it into the nether. I'm going to build the obsidian portal right over here. This looks pretty cool, but I need to add some magenta stained glass and some purple stained glass as well. Oh, wow. This already looks just like a real nether portal. I'll also add one more purple stained glass up here. That looks great. I'm in love with this right now. I think I can even add the first challenge on this level. Inside this area, there will be a chest and inside this chest is going to be some ender pearls. These ender pearls will have to be used to teleport through the portal. This is so cool because ender pearls and portals both teleport you places. It's going to make this part feel so much more cool and realistic. But now I definitely have to add a nether section. It's also going to have a huge, huge lava pool at the very bottom. This way, when I build the challenge inside of this room, if you fall off, you'll fall into lava, Milo. You better try really hard to make it through this level. Otherwise, you might be toast. I do not want to be toast. I have too much left to do still. Oh, really? Milo, how far along your build are you? I'm just doing my second floor now. Oh, I almost peeked. Sorry, Milo. I do not want to look at it before it's done, but you might want to hurry. At least your first floor is a lot taller than my first floor. Yeah, that's right. I'm really doing a lot of good stuff over here. You're going to think I'm really cool once you see my tower. Really? I think you're pretty cool already. You always rock a pair of sunglasses whenever we go to the beach. Everybody wants to come say hi to you. It's really awesome. So if you just make your tower as cool as that, then you'll totally win this thing. But I'm going to be trying pretty hard to make my tower cool too. Yeah, Chip, I'm gonna be just like Sunglasses Milo. Sunglasses Milo is very, very cool. So if you can look like him, then you basically won already. I think it might not be enough to beat me though. I'm gonna be pretty cool too. And wait a minute, Milo, I see a chest outside the front of your tower. Is that something I'm going to have to open when I go through your tower? Oh, Milo, you can't keep that a secret from me. That's not fair, but I guess it is a pretty smart choice. If I knew what was in that chest, it would give me an advantage, which I could use to win this thing and throw an epic pizza party. It probably won't be as epic as this nether floor that I'm building right now, though. These netherrack walls need to go pretty high. I think it can even be the tallest floor I've made so far. On this level, I'm going to build a quiz room. This room will test exactly how well you really do know me, Milo. If you don't answer this quiz correctly, then you will not know me very well. Oh no, Chip, you know I'm really bad at quizzes. I really can't think very well with my bird brain sometimes. Hey, but the quiz is about me, and I'm your brother. Surely you know me really well. Well, one thing I know about you is you love to go to the toilet in the morning. Hey, don't tell people about that. That's really embarrassing. And how do you know about that? I try and be really quiet. You stop really loudly and it wakes me up. Oh, sorry, Milo. I'll be really quiet, but what happens when I have to flush? Won't you get woken up by then anyway? Yeah, that's true. Maybe you just need to not go to the bathroom anymore. Maybe. Milo, I think you need to think about that for a while because right now I am placing so many lava buckets. I think you're going to take back every bad thing you've ever said about me if it means I'll let you off nicely. I don't think I will, though, because I'm adding so much lava right now. Oh, my Gosh, Chip, you know I don't like lava. I'm getting pretty nervous about going through your tower. Yeah, I'd be pretty nervous if I were you too. This tower is going to be so incredible. I wish you the best of luck going through it, Milo. But all you really have to do to win this level is just study everything you know about me. I know it might be a little hard, but I'll try and make the questions sort of easy. Well, sort of easy is good enough for me because I'm still gonna win. 
Yeah, good luck with that, Milo. I'm building the quiz part of this room right now. I just need to make some platforms in the wall and give you two different options to go through. I think this is exactly what it needs to look like. Under one of the platforms, you will drop right into lava, but under one is the right way through. Right now, you can totally see which one is the right answer, but if I grab a crimson sign from the nether and a painting, then I can place these in a very strategic way. Let me place the signs right over here, just like that. I can also do the same on the other side and watch what happens when I place this painting. Oh no, I placed it on the wrong direction. Let's place it like that. Now there are two different pictures. Only one is the right answer though. Let me ask the first question. What is my favorite food? Yeah, Milo's definitely gonna know how to answer this one. Let me grab a glow ink sack so it's a lot easier to read for Milo. Oh wow, that is so easy to read. Now on the left hand side, I will say bird seeds because that's such a funny answer. And on the right hand side, I will say cookies. I need to be quiet so Milo doesn't hear, but cookies is going to be the right answer. If he answers cookies, he goes through safe. But if Milo answers bird seeds, he will fall into the lava and have to start my tower from the beginning. That will add lots of time and it might mean he never ever even goes through. I just need to add a couple more of these quiz sections around this nether tower and then I will be ready to build the final level. I totally forgot, but I definitely need to add the outside of my tower. If I don't build this in time, I will not have any moments to add my final surprise for Milo at the very end. That surprise is the one thing I really want him to find. If he does make it through my tower, at least I will get to see the look on his face when he finds what I have waiting for him. He's gonna really, really hate it. It's something very personal to him. So he will definitely know exactly what it is. Oh yeah, I'm so excited. But first, I totally need to finish making the outside of this tower. I'm going way too slow. There are so many skulk blocks to place. Uh oh, I need to really hurry. Milo, how are you going with your tower? Yeah, I'm on my third floor and I've got a really good idea for it. Wait, you're on your third floor and you've already built the green wrapping around the sides of your tower? That's uh-oh, that's kind of bad for me, Milo. I've finished my third floor, but I still have not added skulk blocks all the way around. If I cannot add these all the way up to the top, then it will not be a super long warden tower. It'll just be a super long collection of random blocks. Random blocks, goodness gracious. Oh no, I really hope that does not happen. That would be so embarrassing if I mess up like that. It could be a real disaster and you could win. In my tower, I also have a little bit that's going to stick out just like this. I I needed to add it so that I could have this cool nether portal effect. If I did not, it would not look as awesome as it currently does. I better make sure I cover it in skulk though, otherwise it would be a random block of stone sticking out of a warden, which does not happen. I think that looks pretty cool, as long as you don't pay too much attention to it. Maybe I can add some on the other side as well. It kind of looks like little stumps on the warden's back, and the warden is a giant skulk monstrosity. He totally would have stumps on the back of his back, so it's kind of realistic. Okay, this already looks awesome. I'll just add a couple more blocks on the sides to make it even and symmetrical. I don't want to have any mistakes in my build. Perfect. Now I can actually get started on the final level of my warden tower. I need to make the roof of the nether because my final level is going to be deep dark themed. That is where the warden's home is and it's where he lives and comes from. Oh yeah, if I make the deep dark as my final level, it will really feel like you are at the top of a warden tower. That is a very important part of my warden tower plan. It's going to look so awesome and I think you're going to be totally terrified going through it, Milo. The warden is one of the scariest mobs in the game. I actually don't care about the warden anymore. I made friends with him. What? You made friends with the warden? Really, Milo? That sounds kind of impossible. No way! Now he always runs after me trying to give me hugs. What? Milo, that means he's trying to attack you. The warden does not try to give anyone hugs. He is an evil, crazy monster. That's why I'm totally building my tower out of him, because he's so scary. Perfect, now that I've added a bunch of skulk all around the ceiling, it is time for me to add more pieces of skulk all around this place, just like this. I'll also add some veins, and here is the skulk shrieker. Once I place down a skulk sensor, it will activate, creating a wave of sound that can summon the warden. 
I better place a couple of these around so that you are bound to summon a bunch when you come up here. I also do need to put wool underneath them. That way you won't accidentally activate them from inside the nether room. That would be an absolute disaster and it would ruin the challenge of the warden room. Luckily, I totally thought of that already, so I came prepared. There is now wool underneath all the skulk sensors, so if you're inside the nether room, you will not accidentally activate them. Let's test that out right now. Okay, yeah, look, see, it's totally working. Whoa, they only activate once you come up close to the next level. Oh yeah, this is perfect. Now let's place some skulk veins all around the walls. This is going to look just like the real deep dark does. Oh wow, this looks so incredible. Let's make sure we place the skulk veins all along the walls and on the ceiling as well, just like this. Perfect, I love this so much already. Now I can place them on the walls and I'll also place them over here. This is epic. What's your final floor looking like, Milo? Well, I'm actually doing another floor as well. Really? A nether floor? But hey, I already did that. Yeah, well, sometimes I use your ideas and I make them better. What? Hey, that's really crazy. I'm just going to remove these shriekers for now because they're making a lot of noise. I'm going to make myself a reminder to put them back by adding a couple more wool blocks where I had them before. There was one here and I think there was one here. Now, when I come back up and I'm done with building this level, I can just add a couple more shriekers here. I also now need to place down my secret hidden chest. Here is where I am going to put the surprise that I have waited for for Milo this whole time. This is Milo's diary, and if I throw it down, you can see that it is a real book. His secrets are inside, and it talks about, oh, how he's a terrible person. This is the poem on page one of Milo's diary. He wrote it for a girl he has a crush on, and it is so embarrassing. If I put it inside this chest at the very end, once he reaches it, he'll totally see what's inside and be so embarrassed. He'll totally want to lose to the warden. I also now need to decorate the warden's face on this thing. Otherwise, it will not look like a warden tower. And Milo, your zombie tower looks so silly. I don't think it looks like the zombie at all right now. <laughs> Yet. Leave me alone. Sorry, Milo. I did not mean to upset you, but I do mean to build this warden all crazy, just like this. I'm going to make sure I build this warden so epic and scary. It looks just like the real thing. And whoa, I've already done a pretty good job so far. I just need to make sure I do the shape of the warden's mouth as accurately as I possibly can. Let's make sure I do not mess up because if I do, then I would be building some kind of warden monstrosity that does not look like the actual warden. That would be really scary. Imagine a mutant warden. Luckily, this is not that. It's just a regular warden. Now I'm going to place black concrete all along the inside here. The warden's mouth comes out and you cannot see what's inside. The warden has growth on top of his head that drips down just like this. Oh wow, this is going to look so awesome. It kind of looks like he has a bunch of hair covering his eyes. Maybe that's why the warden can't see very well because he's having a bad hair day every day. I also definitely need to add some horns on the side sides of the warden's head. Let's add them right over here. They go outside just like this, and they also definitely shake when they hear noise. This looks just like the warden's horns. Let's build the same thing on the other side. I do not want to only build one horn. That would be terrible, and it would look really silly. I also need to build the warden's crazy ribcage on the side, just like this. He has bones that stick out, and it looks crazy. The bones also wrap around a big beating heart that the warden has. The heart is really scary, and you can hear it echoing through the caves. Milo, I know that you've totally died to the warden. I don't know why you're lying and saying that the warden's your friend. What the? I am not lying. Um, I think you definitely are. I think that you need to be more honest and whoa, you've already built the pants of the zombie and the zombie's silly face. That's so funny. Yeah, he's staring at you really angry because he hates you. Hey, what? Why does he hate me? My warden can't even stare angrily because he kind of doesn't really have eyes. Yeah, he just has supersonic hearing. Yeah, exactly. I'm glad you've done your research about the warden, Milo, but have you done your research about me? You'll definitely need to if you want to beat the nether section of my warden tower. Well, I know a couple of things about you. Really? Uh, what's the color of my hair? It's uh, what? Milo, that's wrong. Uh-oh, you're gonna do really badly at this question section. Oh, now I'm feeling nervous. Thanks a lot. You're welcome, Milo. You better be ready to go through this tower, Milo, because I have finished building. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm ready. Let's do this. I can't believe the time is up, and now it is time for me to take on your super long mob house. You better open up this chest and get ready to go inside. 
Whoa, there's golden apples and some golden armor as well. Hey, Milo, don't you know that golden armor is really weak? Well, maybe I knew that, and maybe I'm doing it on purpose. Okay, well, I wonder what could be inside here. And whoa, this place is uh crazy. Milo, why are there zombies on pressure plates? And hey, are they going to be spawning other zombies if they step on them? Uh-oh, that's exactly what I thought would happen. I better kill these zombies really smartly so they don't spawn other zombies as well. Hey, there are so many of them. Milo, stop running around. You're spawning more. Uh -huh. You're going to have such a hard time getting through this one. Um, Milo, how many zombies can come out of these pressure plates? Probably like a Milo, that's way too many, and what? My sword already broke. This is terrible. I need to run up here to this witch hut and eat a golden apple, but wait a minute. Milo, there's water inside here. Does this lead up to the next level? Maybe it does, but when you get up there, I have a little present to give you. Whoa, this is way cooler than that other level, and what's your present? Well, here's another little sword. I feel bad that your other one broke. This one is diamond. That is way better than the other sword. Thanks, Milo. Now I can make it through this room really easy. And what is that pressure plate? I'm going to jump over it. Hey, no, it gives you a present. You should definitely stand on it. Milo, I don't believe you at all. But just because I know you'll yell at me if I don't, I'm going to stand on it. And hey, that's not a present. That's just another zombie. Yeah, zombies everywhere. Let's go. Milo, you can't just keep spawning zombies like this. That's crazy. Oh, yes, I can. Okay, I'll try my best, but you need to get out of the way. I can't jump over these pressure plates with you flying around everywhere. Well, I'm just trying to see what you're doing. And wait a minute, Milo, I saw a door back here. Could this be the exit? Um, yeah, why don't you try it? Okay, and... Oh no, there's silverfish behind here. Hey, Milo, I can't believe you tricked me like that. You got really pranked. This is awesome. Yeah, I guess I did get pranked, and now I have to eat this disgusting rotten flesh to stay alive. Ugh, that is so embarrassing. And wait a minute, it's another door. And hey, I can see the silverfish behind this. Yeah, I really did a really good job of making this maze really difficult. Milo, where do I even go to get out of here? I don't see an exit anywhere. Well, you might have to look a bit harder. Oh, I've totally just found it. Thanks for making this easy for me, Milo, because now I'm going up to the next level. Oh, dang it, you found that so easy. What? Milo, is this another maze? How many mazes have you built in this thing? Well, just pretty much a lot of them because I'm really obsessed with mazes at the moment and I'm pretty good at building them too. Yeah, you are obsessed and Milo, you also made this one really silly. I can jump up onto the sides and see the end from here. What? You can already see the end? Yep, I can totally see the end, and now I'm going up it. Hey, Milo, there are zombies and zombie pigment in this room. That's right, and you have to find the pickaxe that will let you into this chest. What? Milo, the chest in the middle there? That's going to be so difficult. And how am I meant to take down these zombies without angering the zombie pigment? Well, I don't know. Oh, this is really intense. Hey, zombies, come here. Oh, the baby ones are the worst. They're so fast. Yeah, I hate the baby zombies. How's your health going, Chip? Hey, my health is kind of okay, actually. I've only had to eat one golden apple so far. Oh, my goodness. These zombie pigmen are getting so close to me. I don't know if I can kill this zombie without... Oh, no! Hitting them! Ugh, I can't believe I died, Milo. That added so much time to my run-through. This is bad. I better get looking through these chests really fast if I want to have a chance. I want wonder what you've put in the middle chest. Is it something good? Yeah, it's definitely a really good surprise. Okay, um, hey, Milo, I've just found the diamond pickaxe. Now I can mine through and figure out what the surprise is inside this chest. Well, have a look, then. Okay, I'm gonna open it. I'm so excited. And what? There's nothing in here, but wait, a wither? Milo, why did you spawn the wither? <laughs> Yeah, maybe, because you spawned a boss in here. Milo! Chip, what did you think of my tower? That was terrible, but now you have to go through my tower. Oh, I'm pretty nervous. All right, let's have a look. Yeah, this is the overworld section. Isn't it awesome? It's actually really pretty. Doesn't look like there's anything scary in here that's gonna get me. Not in this level, but in the next level, it will be way scarier. Try going up the parkour, Milo. All right, I'm doing it, and I'm doing it really fast. Hey, since when did you get so good at parkour? And never mind, you totally just fell off. Hey, that's rude, Chip. 
I'm still trying to learn how to do the good parkour. Yeah, you totally are, but you're almost at the top of the overworld section. Now you have to move on to the maze. Hey, check it out. I'm doing such a good job and, ooh, there's diamonds. Yeah, they're pretty distracting, aren't they, Milo? They're really distracting because I just want to mine them. Why didn't you give me a pickaxe? Because those diamonds were a distraction to make you take longer in my tower. What? Well, now I gotta be really quick. Okay, let's go this way and this way and... Oh, dang it. I found a dead end. Yeah, you totally did. You better keep looking if you want to find the right way through, Milo. All right, this is looking promising and... Whoa, Chip, look at this. No, you found the right way. But that's not going to be all you have to do. This nether section is the hardest one you've seen so far. Oh, no, great. But I'm feeling pretty confident. Now, guys, remember, once Milo makes it through this section and the warden section, he will see the secret prize and he will totally lose his mind. I can't wait for this to happen. Okay, Milo, now you have to figure out a way to get through this nether portal. Can I just break the glass? No, you can't. That is cheating. What? All right, then. I guess I'll use these stupid ender pearls that I found. Oh, rats. You know I'm really bad at ender pearls. Yeah, but wait, Milo, you totally made it. Good job. You're getting a lot better at this. That was pretty good. All right, then. Just a simple jump up here and... Oh, what is this? Is this a quiz? Yep, it totally is. You need to guess the correct answer. Otherwise, you'll fall into the lava. And all the questions are about me. What is my favorite food? Well, we have cookies on one hand and Bodsies on the other hand. And I think the answer is pretty much... Bodsies. No, Milo, it's my favorite food, not yours. You picked the wrong guess on this one. Well, I didn't know. I thought you liked bird seeds as well. No, I don't. I like cookies. And now you know what happens when you fail. Oh, gosh, I don't want to fail again. Who wins more? Let me think. Chip or Milo? Well, if my memory serves me correctly, I think I win every single time. Oh, Chip! That's not right! Milo, you don't win very often at all. That's why you've died twice in just this section of my tower. These are trick questions. Oh, fine. I guess you sometimes win more. And let's go to the next question. What color are Chip's eyes? Hey, Chip. Yeah, Milo? Um, my hand really hurts. Can you just come and have a look at it quickly? Hmm, I'm happy looking over here where you can't see my eye color. Oh, Chip! Okay, I'm going to turn around, but only for a split second. Uh, I saw your eyes, and I know they're blue. No! Oh, I can't believe that worked. But you're going to have to brace yourself, because this is the final level. You need to sneak past the warden and make it to the chest. Sneak past the warden? Oh, I can't wait to see my best friend again. Oh, yeah. I'm sure he can't wait to see you either. Oh, look! There he is! He's coming right towards me. I'd better stay still for a second. Uh, Milo, I don't think that's a good idea. You should probably try and make your way to the chest before he smells you. Oh, I think he already smelled me. And he probably said I smell really good. Should I sneak around him? Yes, Milo. Look, he's getting mad. You better hurry. Yep, I'm gonna sneak really fast because he's coming towards me. Yeah, he totally is. You've almost made it to the chest, Milo. All right, let's see what's in here. And Milo's diary! Oh, my gosh, Chip! <laughs> Sorry, Milo. Oh, goodness. I have to run away. I'm gonna get you. <laughs> Bye, Milo.